Light Shot is a great and wonderful program that I've been using for many years as a teacher. With it, you can capture images, edit those images very, very quickly, and then add them to a worksheet you're creating, add them to a tutorial such as this, um, wherever you'd like. So, in order to download Light Shot, you go to this website up here. You'll also see it in the description. Once you're there, you click the download for Windows for my teachers, but if you are in a school that uses Mac, click the download for Mac. You're going to click the download button. If you're using Google Chrome, chances are it'll download it right down in this bottom corner. You're going to go ahead and, as soon as it's done downloading, you're going to click it. It's going to open a dialog box. Click yes. It's going to ask you to which language you want. Most of you are probably going to pick English. Click OK. Click Next. Accept the agreement. I'm going to end that here, but just click Next. And then it's installed. Once it's installed, you'll get an icon that looks like a feather. It'll either be down in this bottom right corner, or if you have too many icons like I do, you can click this uh, up arrow and you can see it right here. You click that arrow, and what that allows you to do is it'll dim your screen a little bit. And then you can just drag a square around anything that you would like to. And now you can add arrows to it. You can underline whatever you want. You can change the color to make it darker. You can and add squares around whatever you want. You can doodle around it. Okay, circle things. Um, quite a few things. And down here, you either save it, you can copy that, and then paste it into your worksheet that you're doing. You can print it straight up. You can actually um, share it to Facebook and places like that. And you can also upload it to their screen, uh, printscreen.com um, website. One of the tricks that I've been using for many, many years is when I'm looking for an assessment, especially for math, I come up here in Google and let's say I'm doing inequalities and you know how long it takes to create a worksheet with inequalities and with symbols and math uh, icons things like any inequalities multiple choice if you're looking for a multiple choice assessment come in here let's go to algebra one chapter three preview see what they've got here Okay, so I, I don't want to take time to do all of this. So what I can actually do is I will um, come down here and hit my feather icon and dim the screen a little bit. And I'll come down here and I will highlight all that I need. I'll save that image. Save that image wherever I need to save it. I can give it a name. I can change the different types to save it to. Hit save. And then I can now put that into my worksheet. Or I could have copied and pasted that into my worksheet. Saves tons and tons of time. Another thing that I you can use it for is for labeling. So if I find um, a Google Earth image that I wouldn't mind labeling, let's just say the continents here. I could pull up these images and I can actually use my screen capture tool and I can actually have my students say okay what is that uh, which continent is this and this isn't the best example but um, you can actually create diagrams very very quickly in uh, light shot and then save them to your notebook or wherever you'd like to for more educational tips and tricks and other resources, please visit our free website at educationalresource.org, where in educationalresource.org, what you can do is you can actually explore tons of resources, either resources that we've collected 
or created where you can kind of come in here and browse all sorts of videos and you can actually filter them by grade level by type of content and by whether it's an activity a video a game um, we've tried to make it as easy as possible you can also go to our blog called education revelations where inside that blog you'll be able to see some of the fun things that we do in our classroom please feel free to register for a new account um, like I said it's free and we'd love to have visitors